Hey everyone, it's Vintage Vinny, and welcome to another antique store haul. Everything I'm going to be sharing with you today came from the Fayetteville Antique Mall in Fayetteville, Pennsylvania. So I got some pretty neat stuff from this shop, and I'm also going to be sharing some items that I got at Shire's Market, which is on the way back from the Fayetteville Antique Mall. Got some really neat industrial stuff that I'm excited to share with you all, and I hope you all like what I found. So as you can see, I've got five Anchor Hawking Vitrock vases. Forgive me if I um, don't remember what the pattern of these are. Are called I think it's pearl oyster and pearl something along those lines yes they do glow cool huh so I think they're made of like custard or something are they it's a custard glass fired on pa uh, paint so those are really really cool and those were 50% off um, of, yeah and they're just awesome so I was really happy to get those. Alrighty, so like I said, it was definitely an industrial day at the Fayetteville Antique Mall. So this is awesome. This is a velvet pipe and cigarette tobacco tin. It's basically a jar. Love that. It's in pretty good shape overall. That's what initially attracted me to it. So awesome. I will do my research just to make sure that I get the best value for some of these items. And if not, they'll just come right to a live sale. Uh, this is awesome too, this orange and black, uh, black flag insect spray. Is it dated anywhere? Let's see, maybe it's dated on the back. Nope, I don't see a date anywhere. But that would be so cool for Halloween, don't you think? I did get this Parker Super Chrome Blue Black Ink Tin. Loved the colors on that, even though there's a bit of a rip. I think it still displays nicely. And then we have the Bone Ami Kitchen Sinks and Bathrooms Cleaner. I loved that image of the little uh, chick. That would be so cool for Easter. Here is a Curtis Young secretarial typewriter ribbon tin, yellow and silver. I also found a Folgers coffee tin without the lid. That would be good for a plant or maybe even an assemblage. I just loved that. I, I like the graphics on it. Oops. Established in 1850, so this is from 1952. So cool. I even found a tin of Johnson's Wax. And that does not have a... As I drop it. <laughs> Thankfully it wasn't glass. I don't think that that has a year on it. Very cool nonetheless. It even says you get this can free. I don't know from what, but again, the, the deco font of the letters just is what sold me on that. I also found this chrome ashtray with swordfish on it. I thought that was very neat. I even found another receipt spike for a reasonable price. So I know people like these, they like to collect them. So I went ahead and picked that up. These are cool. These came in like a little grab bag. Uh, this is just a package of Boss School coffee. I don't know where this came from. I don't know if it was from like a package of pre -pro or um, instant coffee or I don't know. This is what initially attracted me to that little bag. It's this SK Hams toy. I don't know if this has any value, but I love little advertising pieces like this. So this will definitely be a keeper for me. And this is not an industrial item, but I went ahead and picked it up anyway. This is from the third building. 
Uh, this is a Nippon, looks like a trinket dish, trinket box. It is marked on the bottom, Gloria hand-painted Nippon. And I believe that Nippon dates from 1891 to 1921. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong. I, I almost want to say that that's correct, but like I said, sometimes I mix things up. That's just how that happens, especially when I'm filming videos. Moving right along. I did find another one of those porthole eagle convex mirrors. It's got a date for 1945 Homco, made in the USA. Thought that was awesome. I actually have one of these already, so that I'll probably be listing on eBay. They go for about 30 to about $40. So that was definitely a good pickup. I also found this Kenmore de-icer, and we all know that Kenmore was a private label company that was sold only at Sears. The box is what sold me, look at that. And it is still in there, it's right here. I will do my research just to see if that goes for anything. If not, it will definitely be for an industrial sale that I do with Katie. Which by the way, um, I believe the last Saturday of this month we will be doing an industrial sale, so you don't wanna miss that. And then the only other item I got at Fayetteville Antique Mall is this adorable Santa Claus coming out of the chimney ornament. He looks very, oops, Hallmark-esque, although I do not see a Hallmark marking on it. But nonetheless, I love him. I think he's great. And he will definitely be going with all of my vintage ornaments. So that is everything from Fayetteville. Let's go ahead and check out the stuff I got at Shires. So I did score on some vintage Christmas two days, I'm sorry, three days before the holiday season happened. There was a booth that had a bunch of like newer primitive artisan type stuff and then she had some vintage mixed in and that's where I scored the deals on the vintage Santa stuff. The vast majority of the Christmas stuff I will probably be keeping for myself because I do like it. Some of it I'll be selling, others I'll be holding on to. This was actually the first item that I spotted, this flocked, dan I call it the Dancing Santa. He's a little bit faded and dirty, but I love him nonetheless. Um, I do have one of these already, so I may be selling him. Uh, he was actually 30% off of an already really great price, so he had to come home with me. Another piece that I definitely had to take home with me was this Royal Hard Plastic Santa Claus. They do have two different versions. You have the electrified model which you can put um or has an electrical socket here and you can um put a bubble light there and then there um there's this version where you can put a plastic tree which by the way is actually not the easiest thing to find um, i'll insert a picture of the one that i have and that i use um for christmas time right here so you can see exactly what i mean and then i spotted Oh, you know what? I think he's might be broken. His mustache might be broken. You know what? It doesn't matter. You don't even notice it. So this is one of those spaghetti Santa banks. Yes, and I noticed that he is chipped right here on his stash. I didn't even realize it. I was just so excited to be able to own one of these. Uh, it says imported on it. Uh, he was only five bucks. And you know that those chips on his mustache, I really don't care about. And it's really not even all that noticeable. The other thing that I got, other Santa item, is this Anarcho planter. Very kitschy, very 1950s, 60s. So I'll probably end up keeping him too. So clown alert, everyone. I did find an old clown doll. Here's what he looks like. He's not too scary. Um, he definitely looks older to me. There's no tag to say where he's from or how old he is. On his head... Um, it looks like he was to hang somewhere. I definitely see Tina, a Vision and Vintage Co. picking something like that up. Because that's definitely up her alley. This is awesome. This is a Lefton Marmalade Kitty Cat um, jar. Never seen that before. Uh, there's cherry and then there is, I think, a lemon marmalade. So that was cool. 
And then I found this little enamel box, so this metal box. This was 75% off. People like to put jewelry in here, maybe store like a ring or something. It's got an interesting design with flowers and grapes and such. But people like to collect those, so anytime I can find them, I do buy them. And then the last item I'd like to share with you all are these really awesome Relco Little Red Riding Hood salt and pepper shakers. One of these, it says Relco right there. And this one says, looks like it says Clyde B. May 1949 um, Shell Chuck, Shells Chuck. So that's really cool. Um, of course, I looked those up just to see what they were going for, and those will probably be available in my eBay store, as will the Cherry Marmalade Kifton, Kifton, Kitten by Lefton. Um, I'm not sure if I'll be selling the Santas. Uh, well, this one, of course, I probably will. Um, this one, not sure. The other two, I'm, I want to keep for myself for the time being, and the clown, of course, is the keeper as well. So I want to thank you all so much for watching, and let me know down below, what were your favorite items from this haul?